Hoi toy. Welcome to Transfixed, the channel with the magical light that can see what you did in that hotel room. No, not that kind of light. Anyway, uh, this is a new kind of video. Uh, there's a few kind of just random things I want to talk about on the channel from time to time, so I thought I'd put it under this category here. So the first one is uh, about visionaries. Recently, uh, Hasbro's been trying to resurrect the visionaries brand with their SDCC set that has Leoric in it. And I think they're doing some comic books. Uh, anyway, I was mostly listening to the Full Force podcast, which is a great podcast you should check out. And uh, they were talking a lot about visionaries. They had an eight-hour-long podcast about visionaries, mostly. So just a quick primer, or primer, if you don't know uh, what visionaries is. Back in 1987, Hasbro came out with a new uh, toy line and franchise called the Visionaries. And it was about uh, this time in the future where technology had stopped working and uh, magic had come back. So the people who learned to use the magic, uh, they were able to use the magic to make some of the technology work again. So it's kind of a mix of fantasy and science fiction. Uh, it all centered around the gimmick of uh, these holograms that they put on the uh, the toys. Anyway, that's really all you need to know. I remember watching this cartoon as a kid and it was only uh, 13 episodes, one season. So I thought, hey, I could, I could get through that. So I downloaded it <coughs> uh, somewhere. And uh, I got to episode three, and <laughs> I saw the best scene that I've ever seen in a cartoon. There's this scene that just blew my mind, and I had to share it with you guys, because what's happening is the, the bad guys, called the Darkling Lords, are just kind of having a meeting in their castle or lair or whatever. And uh, so the leader, is, um, the leader of the bad guys is Darkstorm, but what happens here is... This other character named Kravex just loses his shit <laughs> and goes crazy, like flipping the tables, and it's awesome. I just couldn't believe what I was watching. So I'll let you take a look. Uh, by the way, you'll notice that the voice is familiar. That's because Kravex was voiced by uh, the late, great Chris Latta, who you'll know as Starscream, Cobra Commander, and lots of other iconic characters. So uh, without further babble from me, uh, have a look. This is great. So, Darkstrom, how are we going to divide the booty? Divide the booty? What insolence! I am your lord and ruler! You swore loyalty to me. The spoils are mine. All mine. One moment. Swearing loyalty is one thing. Turning over all my money to you is quite another. Apologize now, and I will not subject you to my wrath. All that work and we get nothing? I hardly think that's fair. We could die paupers. What did you say, Lexor? I just said that I was shocked by Recon's insubordination. You coward! You expect to enrage me into doing your dirty work? Well, you have succeeded. You enraged me! <laughs> Greedy swine! What gives you the right to lay claim to the fruits of our labor? <laughs> Lying filth! You are a mercenary! You have no loyalty. For enough money, you would betray yourself! <laughs> and you, Mortred! Bootlicker! Have you no will of your own? Cinder, I'll just crack you out of principle! <laughs> Restrain him! Not until I'm compensated! <laughs> WWF. Alright, so let's pause there. That was the best scene I've ever seen in a cartoon. <laughs> and of course that was Chris Latta, the legendary voice of Starscream and Cobra Commander. And uh, he doesn't look like he fits the physique that they have for this big bearded knight type of guy. But it works. He's a maniac. He just gets up and hauls off on everybody. Cold Cox, the leader of the, the um, Darkling Lords. This is seen light out on the floor there after that. <laughs> you are a mercenary. <laughs> I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so great. Bootlicker! Oh man, that's good stuff. I don't think you see stuff like that in cartoons these days. Uh, I'm not even going to show the rest of the episode. Just wanted to show that. Because it is amazing. <laughs> I keep going back to watch it over and over again. So that's episode 3 of Visionaries. Um, 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see any more of this stuff, uh, you can download it on the usual places. Um, if I find any more good stuff like that, maybe I'll post it. But uh, yeah, thanks for checking that out. And uh, do check out the Full Force podcast if you have any interest in G.I. Joe or the Action Force. So thanks for watching, and thanks for watching. It is a time when magic is more powerful than science, and only those who control the magic control destiny. They are the visionaries. Come <laughs> on.